Oh. Hello everybody, this is me and today isn't the best day, it is absolutely freezing outside. We have had the beast from the east over here, so we've had a bit of snow. It's pretty much been around minus three or four degrees for the last week. So the last couple of days have not been easy. It's involved having the horses in quite a bit more than usual because the fields are just pretty dangerous. They've had snow, they've had ice, um, they've been frozen as well, so it's all bumpy. So I've been having to exercise the horses only in the school. I felt really sorry for them having to be in a bit more than usual. We've also had to make sure all of the water troughs are um, unfreezed. So here I actually have a massive bucket of hot water that I'm going to take up and hopefully we can unfreeze the tap so we can get some nice clean water for the horses. So I'm going to pick this up and take it over to them now. All right, so what I'm going to do is, <laughs> our tap's kind of at a jointy angle at the moment. So what I'm going to do is pour the hot water on the tap, like Gatsby. Try not to get too much on the floor because I don't want that to freeze and someone to slip. Yay, it's coming out. Okay, that actually was so much better today. The other days it's taken forever. So we need to get everyone some fresh water. We'll do yours first, Caspi. Hello. Ignore their stables, I haven't mucked out yet, obviously. Um... Oh, you've actually drunk quite a lot, Casper. Zoom. And then we usually take the water here, so then we try not to get it on the yard floor because we don't want this to get all wet and frozen. You can see there's still a little bit here that's frozen from the other day. There's also lots of little bits of haylage here because Joey likes to dip his haylage in his water, so it's always very dirty. Uh, Casper's is not too bad, so now it's time to fill that up. Give a bit of a clean out. It's also been really good because the, um, I'll move that out of the way. It's been good because this hot water we can put in their waters and then it's a little bit warmer. It's not like icy cold, so they actually drink their water. Yes, because we don't want you getting dehydrated. We've also been putting a lot of apples in their water. I know you can put a tennis ball in their water to stop it from freezing as much, but I have a feeling that our horses, because we give them so much apple, so many apples in their water, they're gonna think that the tennis ball is an apple and probably try to eat it, especially Joey. He is very good at his apple bobbing. So now that's filling up, I'm gonna check the other horse's water and fill it up as well. Hi, Mickey Moo. Oh, that really opened up with the wind. Uh, there we go. In there. Now Mickey has been having two buckets of water because he has been drinking a lot. We're not sure if it's the cold weather or if his Cushing's is getting a little bit worse. So we've got the vet to book him in for another blood test for that. But he seems fine himself. It's just he's drinking a bit more water than usual. So Casper's just waiting for that to fill up now. Would you like a bit of hot water in your water bucket? Pour a bit in. There we go. Make it a little bit warmer for you. Put a bit in Mickey's. And then that can be for Joey. Mr. Joey, let's look at your water, shall we? Yeah. Oh, move your chinny chin chin out the way. Yeah. Yeah. Your water is disgusting, Joey. I think you win the award for the most gross water. Look inside that. Yeah, it's got loads of haylage in. 
All right, so the last like day or two, I've just been pretty much lunging them all because they've had all this energy because they've unfortunately had to be in. Hopefully today we might be able to let them out in the field because apparently at midday, it's supposed to get a lot warmer when the sun comes up and hopefully the fields should thaw out and not be all frozen. Casper, do you have an itch? One little scratch, hey? Um, so I'm going to get on this boy for the first time in a few days. So he's definitely going to be spicy, very excited. So um, you guys have got some fun things to look forward to because he'll probably try to buck me off. Hey, mister, I'm going to be very excited. He seems very sleepy at the moment, actually. He's seeming too chilled. Oh, Joey, Joey. Sorry, he was digging. Um, so the plan with Joey is to lunge him see how he is after lunging and then maybe ride him afterwards I don't know sometimes when I lunge him I tire him out so much that afterwards I'm just like oh I can't get on him now he's worked so hard so that's Mickey's water let's get Joey's on the go there we go Mick Mick water delivery There we go, he's all happy. Uh, Mickey, I think I might free lunge him. He had a lot of fun doing that yesterday um, because I just let him out in the arena. He had a good naked roll. He enjoyed having some zoomies. We actually played chase together. I don't know if any of you guys have done this with your horses, but um, Mickey loves playing. So I'll chase after him for a little bit and then I'll turn around and he'll chase after me. Joey, are you playing with your stable door? Also, Joey has recently discovered his ball. He's had it for like almost a year now. And... Hi, mate. He finally has learned how to play with it. He loves chewing on this. Hey, gonna chew? He's showing me up. Joey, chew your ball, Lee. He doesn't want it today. We started using it because when I would tack him up, he would want to chew on his reins. So I was like, hmm, we should find something that he wants to chew on instead. Are you not in a chewy mood? No. You're not in a, you just want the treaties, don't you? Yes. Okay. That's sad. <laughs> I have a water delivery. Water delivery for a Mr. Joey. Is this Mr. Joey? Would you like your water delivery? Yes? Okay, in we come. Beep beep. There we go, I'll put it there for now. Yes, okay, should we get you ready for lunging? Would you like to do some lunging? Yeah? Okay then. I'll get your lunging stuff. Yes. Yes, sniffy sniffy. Sniffy sniffy of the booty booties. Yeah, oh, your mouth is all wet. You've had some water, haven't you? Yes, I don't want you to get me all cold from your slobber chops. No, there we go. It's awful at the moment because you're so messy. You love getting your poo poos everywhere. Okay. All right, so I have my lunge rope here. Yes, because we're gonna do some lunging. Yes, don't know how spicy he's gonna be. He should be fine. Uh, Joey, no, you don't eat it. As I said before, Joey likes to eat anything and everything he has the chance to chew on. There we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. No. Today I am going to be lunging him literally just to exercise him and let off some steam, but also it's quite good for just ground manners and get him listening to my voice and that kind of thing. I'm going to re-loop this so it's all nice and ready. I'm not going to be using like any lunging aids or anything. I just want him to have a bit of a stretch, a bit of a leg stretch and exercise and we'll see how he goes. Yes, because we haven't done much lunging before. Uh, excuse me. No, we don't eat it. Um, so I've got to keep an eye on that, that he doesn't want to chew on the lunge rope. No. 
Um, I've got it around his bit just because I want a little bit more control because he was a bit spicy the other day. And we'll see how it goes. And walk. Good boy. Okay, and Triton. Triton. Good boy. Good boy. And walk. And walk. Good boy. And Triton. Good man. Good boy, good stretches. Good man, good stretch. Oh, sass. Good man. Stand. Good man. I got you. I got you. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, out you go. Walk on. Good boy. And walk. Good boy. Okay. And trip done. Good All man. right, so I thought I'd do a bit of a voiceover talking through what I'm doing when I'm working with Joey. This really isn't the best example of me lunging because um, I had to work with what I had and my lunge whip has been eaten by rats, so it's not as long as it should be. So Joey was on a smaller circle. I tried my best to try and push him out as much as I could, but you just got to work with what you got. So I started off by doing a lot of transitions. This is really good to try and get Joey not only to listen to me, but also to focus a little bit more especially when Joey was a little bit fresh today he was a little bit more on edge he was definitely looking around quite a bit the donkeys were in a new field so he was having a look at them and I just wanted to make sure he was focusing on me and focusing his energy on the work I was asking him to do so on the lunge you can really see in areas that he is quite unbalanced that he has a lot more muscle that we need to build up but in today's session I wasn't too worried about his way of moving or anything like that it was more just to get some energy out so here I asked him to canter. Um, there was a little bit of sass in that transition as you can see he found it quite exciting. So I was working on Joey using the energy to move forward because when Joey's excited he's a bit of a strange one. He likes to use his energy to go upwards so he will have a little bounce around. Here you can see he's really starting to stretch a little bit more. He's starting to loosen up. He was a little bit more stiff on this particular day just because again he had been stabled for longer than he usually is and of course I did lots of transitions with him again as well and then here I decided to ask him to canter again and then we had a bit of an explosion there we go um, I knew that was gonna happen eventually just because he really did want to have a bit of a leg stretch so I was like okay Joey let's move forward let's go and yeah he had a lot of fun on the lunge as you can see Joey Oh, okay then, change your legs. Ah, uh, trot. Trot. Good boy. Canter. Good man. So after Joey had his little explosion, he actually started to loosen up okay. quite a lot in the canter. After that, I think honestly, I don't blame him for doing any of this. I would be the same if I had to be shut in a stable for long periods Good of time. Man. Here you can see in the corners, he really is starting to put his head down, stretch down in the canter, which again, I praised him for. And I was man. so happy to see here. Unfortunately, he stretched so much that he went back to trot, but I was still happy that he was stretching nonetheless. So again, I was just asking Good him to do boy. that in here. He's really just lowering his head a bit more and I was very happy. Good man. And trot. Good boy. Oh, big stretch. Trotting. Trotting. Good boy. Okay, you got to go out. Go out. Trotting, good man. Trotting, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good man. Good, good. good boy. Good stretches. Well done. Yes, I know. Oh, trotting. Canter. Good boy. Good boy. And canter. Good. 
Maybe you just squeal. Good boy. Good boy. Good man. Good boy. Good boy. And walk. Good man. Well done, Joey. You're so good. Should we go for a little walk? No, you're not going to eat your lunch rope. There we go. We'll go for a little walkies to cool you down. Was that fun? Yeah. Good man. Good boy. Okay, lunge rope is off. Let's take your bridle off. I know you love having head scratches after you've been ridden. You're actually molting a tiny bit. Spring must be on the way if you've got all these little little hairs coming off you, matey. Yeah. So Joey was a really good boy. A lot better than he was the first time I lunged him. So I haven't actually lunged Joey many times because I think it was like the second or third time I ever lunged him. He um, was a bit, no, don't eat that. He was a bit spicy and he actually, even though he was booted up, he managed to cut himself. So I was a little bit scared and was a bit of a paranoid mum being like, oh, I don't want to lunge him in case he bucks up in the air and hurts himself again. So I haven't done much lunging with him. So it's still a little bit new to the both of us. If you'd like to see a proper video on how to lunge, I did actually do one with the British Horse Society that I'll do a little eye card for. Um, our lunging was a little bit on the feral side just because my lunging whip um, has been eaten by rats. So it's not as long as it should be. So our circle was a bit smaller because you like to be nice and close to me, don't you? You don't want to be too far away. So the circle was a little bit smaller, but he was very good. He listened to me the whole time. He did all the transitions I asked. There was one point where he was a little bit spicy, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt for that because having to be in a lot longer than he's used to, because you're definitely more of a field horse. You like to be out in the field like a horse should be, yeah? Hopefully we can put them out today. But he was very good, very happy. So I'm gonna rug him back up, clean out his stable, exercise the other horses. Yeah? Oh, we need to get you some treaties. That's what we need to get you. We need to get you some treaties. Okay, I'll grab them now and put your bridle away. Yeah? All right, Joey, here are your treaties for being such a good boy. Treaty number one, treaty number two, treaty number three. Good man, let's get you rugged up before you get too chilly, hey? All right, so I'm just tacking up Casper now and I've just checked the weather and apparently today it is what well, it's supposed to feel like minus seven degrees C. So if that isn't chilly, I don't know what is. Also, I thought because Casper's going to be a little bit spicy today, I'd go for the chilly red, you know, see if that reflects how he's going to be ridden. I just know as soon as I get in that arena, he is just going to want to canter because that's what he did the other day. And I'll tell you what, it was a bit of a wild ride. So we'll see how it goes. Um, today I was actually thinking it's so cold. I don't know if I'll be able to do matchy matchy, but you know what? We've got the saddle pad, we've got the boots. We'll get the ear bonnet as well. I reckon we can still be matchy matchy, no excuses. <laughs> uh, let me just go around the other side. So yeah, we'll see what Casper thinks to the cold weather. Hopefully I survive the ride. I feel like every time I hype him up being like, oh, Casper's gonna be a bit wild today. He's gonna bark, he's gonna want to like canter and everything. He's usually fine, but so I kind of like unjinx it, but we will see what happens. We'll see how he is. But I do think he's gonna be a bit of a spicy boy. Let me just do, tell you what, he's put on a bit of chub because I'm struggling to do his girth up. Sorry, Casp, but I'm just embarrassing you in front of hundreds of thousands of people, but that's fine, you know? Is that or he's puffing his tummy out and then I'm gonna go flying? Oh no, I can do it up now. Thanks for unpuffing your tummy, mate. Much appreciated. I don't know if this will work, but maybe the air bonnet will, you know, keep his little ears warm because it is so windy and cold outside. I feel like I've just been complaining about the cold the whole time today. I'm very sorry, but I am absolutely freezing. <laughs> but anyway, um, that might keep him a bit warm. Also, I'd like to apologise in advance for how dirty Casper and his tack are. 
because it's been so cold, I just haven't been able to wash him or bath him or I've only been able to brush him. So I've done the best job, but he, he has a few little poop stains on him. So I apologize. Also his tax are not the cleanest it could be because um, again, the water's, it's just been so cold. I don't want to get cold hands using cold water, cleaning my tack. I know I do have the excuse that I could just get warm water from the house and bring it up, but it's so cold that if you leave water out here, it pretty much freezes straight away, which is not fun. So uh, I'm going to wait till it's a little bit warmer to clean his bridle and his saddle and things, but it's probably not very good, but it's just too cold. Okay. He is almost tacked up and then it's time for me to take my trousers off, which is really sad. I am wearing double trousers today. These are the three donkeys ones. They very kindly gifted to me back when I went to Burley in 2019. So in the winter, I literally live in these. Um, so I'm gonna have to take my, my, my trousers off, which is kind of sad. But I do, I don't worry, I do have breeches on underneath. I'm not going to be demonetizing the channel. Um, <laughs> you're not going to see my bare legs, which is good. Uh, so I just be back in a sec, Caspi. I'll put my riding boots on and then we'll go zoomies. Zoom, zoom. I already know better. 24K got nothing on me. Make you want it forever. Try to play a game, but you don't play for keeps. Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah. Kinda love you, wanna build your dreams on, yeah. But I already know better. I'm a go better in our sassy. I'm good. I made over shoes and hardwood. For me, you know I wrote the book. I'm moving along from somebody wrong. Go ahead, tell me all the ways you miss it How you won't be back in your bed But I'm not around for healing you out I, I gave you too much honestly And you closed the door Now you're calling me But I don't need you anymore Yeah, I already know better 24K got nothing on me Make you want it for All right, guys, I've just finished my ride with Casper, and he was actually so good, so much better than I thought he was going to be because yesterday he was absolutely wild. So, he obviously, got it all out of his system yesterday. There were a few little bucks, I could definitely tell he was more pumped up and fizzy than usual. So, when I first started riding him, I didn't want to have too much of a contact. I decided to make my reins a little bit looser because Casper's the kind of horse where if you do a lot of contact to start with and you're kind of like holding him, he gets more and more fizzy like a can of Coca-Cola. He just kind of, all this energy that's being contained, he kind of bubbles up and then suddenly he'll explode. So um, I've had this, I've had Casper for seven years now so i feel like i can really read him quite well i can really tell when he's going to be spicy or fizzy and that kind of thing so i'm pretty happy that he listened to me the whole time i rode him pretty well because there wasn't too much fizzy or exciting moments so obviously he was listening to me a lot so well done casper he was a very good boy we did a little bit of flat work afterwards so i've just cooled him down and now it's time to take him back to his stable wrap him up and it's time to grab mickey good boy casp you're so good well done good man let's do your stirrups up one stirrup two stirrup lots of canter work today hey get that energy out come on in let's walk you off Hello you, hello you, it's your turn. Saving the best till last, hey Mick. <laughs> oh, you want to scratch? Give me. <laughs> Thank you, there we go. 
got your fancy schmancy leather head collar on today. Oh my goodness, Mickey, of course. <laughs> of course he went and had a roll first thing in the arena. Oh my goodness, you have so much sand and rubber over you. Hey, snorty boy. <laughs> oh no, you've got sand all up your nose. Shake, shake, shake. That's a bit silly. Oh, okay, bye. You gonna go zoomies? Are you gonna go rolling again? Yeah. Do you wanna do... Oh, thank you. Do you wanna do zoomies? Or do you wanna do lunging? Or do you wanna do playing? Do chases? Or do you want me to uh, go and get the lunge? Now you've had your roll. I knew you really wanted your roll, so I thought I'd let you get that out of your system, hey? Should I go get the lunge rope? And we'll do some zoomies? Zoomies! 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 Yes! You love the zoomies. Okay, I'll get the lunge rope. And then we can do controlled zoomies rather than wild zoomies. I know you want to follow me. Alright, Mickey. Are you ready for some lunging? Some what I call feral lunging? Yes. I'm going to clip this on you. Okay. Which way do you want to go? I want you to go this way. Go on then, round you go. Oh gosh. <laughs> Mickey, you're in the... Oh, there we go, he's in flying change. Run, little old man, run! <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom! He's so fluffy. He's pretty chilled today. I think it's because we have done so much lunging recently. He's kind of bored of it now. He's like, oh, okay, I get the gist now. This is what we do. I'm gonna still, gee, <laughs> Mickey. Oh my goodness. Go on, get her, get her, get her. Good boy. See, he just catches you off guard like that. He just gets a little burst of energy and then he's off. Encanta. Zoomies, woohoo, let's go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And whoa. And stand. And stand. Good boy. Okay, are you going to be good for me to change you over? Stand. No. Mickey. Oh my goodness. Come on now. Let's not be silly. Okay, can you go over here please? Thank you. You are so wild. Go on then. Little pwn, show us your zoomy skills. Wow, here he goes. You've, you you need to change your legs, mate. Trotting, trotting, trotting. There we go. And get the wrong leg. <laughs> trotting, trotting. Go. Oh, there we go. You got the counter. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's go, Mick, Mick, let's go. Zoomies. And whoa. And whoa. Good boy. Good man. Are you done now? Oh. You came in too quick before I could undo the... Well, Mickey, I think, very much enjoyed his lunge. There are a few little zoomies in there, not too many though. Definitely didn't find it as exciting as he did the other day, but very good. I think all the horses are just kind of like fed up now. Instead of having all this energy, they're just like, oh, I just want to go out in the field. 
But no, you were very good. Oh, big snort. So I'm just gonna walk him off now, walk him around the arena so he can get his breath back and then put him back inside. Good boy, Mix. Go on in. Oh, big snort. Yes. All right, guys, so I've finished mucking out the horses. They've got fresh water, food, they've all been exercised. So they're all happy having their lunch now. So I thought I'd come and check on the donkeys again. Obviously, I fed them and checked them this morning, first thing when they had their breakfast. But their ice has frozen over again. So I'm going to have to get more ice. As you can see, there's so much ice there already from what I got out this morning. So it really is freezing over. I know you guys in really cold countries such as Canada have heated water troughs, which right now I'm so jealous of, but we honestly only get temperatures like this once every couple of years. So it's very unusual. Oh no, can I pick it up? Can I pick it up? Yes. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a massive bit of ice. Oh my goodness, that is huge. It's probably not very hygienic putting my boot in, but I think that's the only way to really do it. Okay, I've got as much ice out as possible, so hopefully it doesn't freeze over till this evening. They do have water up in their water buckets and their stables, which I'll go and check again to see if they're frozen. But usually they're pretty good. They don't actually eat too much haylage. They still have quite a lot of grass in the field. So go and say hi, give them some scratches and see how they're doing again. So Willow here is looking like a little woolly mammoth at the moment. You're so fluffy, aren't you, and hairy? So guys, I think I'm gonna finish today's video here because it is very cold. I kind of want to go inside now, warm up and have my lunch. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh, you are just too cute, Willow. You are too cute. I love you. <laughs> See you later, honey.